welcome to my channel how's it going i hope you're all doing really really well today i've got an unboxing for you and it is a bit of a weird one because this is something that i got ben kind of as like part of a christmas present and i just thought oh he said i can open it so it is a beer 52 subscription now i found a voucher where i could get this cheaper and so i bought it i will link the website down below but basically it is a subscription of beers i think you get a magazine and a snack as well it's 24 pound a month however i do have a voucher or a code where you can get it for 12 pounds with free delivery so you'll get a whole case of beer and a snack and a magazine for 12 pounds and then you will get a code to use if you want to if that code is used we then get points and i think we get some free beer i'll put it on the screen because i'm i think we get free beer um you can customize your box so you can get a mix of light and dark beers or light beers only um let me see what else it says They'll deliver it, you discover, and then you if you review the content, you get extra points, which then leads to more free stuff. So, I thought we'd just have a little look. Um, now, I love lager, like, like Foster's Lager or um, Corona or Cronenberg. That's the kind of lager that I drink. Ben is more diverse with his. He will drink some ales as well and some darker beers. I don't like really hot... And I call anything, I call all alcohol, I call it beer. Like, if someone says, do you want a drink? I'll be like, yeah, I'll have a beer. And I could very well mean wine or vodka, just because I'm a dick. <laughs> so, um, yeah. He does drink the other things as well, which is why I thought this would be good. good. We got his dad one as well for Christmas. Um, this, uh, there's something in here about a uh, cider beer music festival on the 21st to the 23rd of February in Brick Lane in London. That looks quite interesting. Not that we'll be able to go, but that looks quite good. I'll link that as well so you guys can have a look at that. So this is the box. And I'm just going to start taking things out. So if you've got someone, I thought it'd be good. Like we got this for my father-in-law because he loves different beers and lagers and stuff. And he thought it was a really nice way of trying just different ones. Because sometimes these little cans can be like four pounds something each in tesco's like the craft beers so i thought doing the with the voucher for 12 pounds i thought it was quite good so this is the first one we've got if it wants to focus and this is a kolsch like looks like grolsch but with a k magpie brewing company and this is it's a light refreshing clean beer it says tangerine oh it says Originating from Colm with a citrus twist, this light beer is easy drinking while maintaining depth of flavour. See, that might be one that I'd like. I'll probably try that as well. 4.8% alcoholic a volume. We've got, I love the packaging on all of them. It's so cool. This one's called The Booth, and this is Hazy Pale Ale. Look at this packaging. Like, I wish I liked more different kinds of beer because they're so cool. Whenever I go to Tesco's and I see like the brew dog and stuff, I always buy them for Ben just because I'm a sucker for packaging. So what is this one? This is 5.5% ABV and this is a dry hopped hazy ale. Pale ale. What we got? We got a bottle. Um, this is Brett IPA Wild Wave Brewing and this is 6.5%. These are getting stronger. That's that one. Like, yeah, if you've got someone, like, it might be a nice Valentine's present. If you don't like, if your other half doesn't like traditional things, it'd be quite, and they like beer, it'd be quite a nice Valentine's present. Um, this one is called One Day, One Career, and this is the booth brewing again, um, I think. Oh, I don't know, it's got all of them on it. It just says Beer 52. It says all of them on it, I don't know what it's by. This is Ginseng and Sancho Saison. Sizon? I don't know. And this is... Where's the ABV on this one? This is 3.6. So this is a much less alcoholic content than the other ones. I've got 
got a snack. Oh, Ben's going to love these. Cheeky peas, curry flavour roasted chickpeas. Um, I think the one his dad got, he got like some jerky. But they have like a different snack every month. That's really cool packaging as well. They sound yummy. Oh, I, might, I might steal them, don't tell Ben. Then you get um, the Ferment magazine. Which has got the, um, the logo of that beer on it. I don't actually know what's in here. There's a few vouchers. Um, oh, and then it's just got like different, tells you about different beers, a home brew away from home, like little articles and stuff. Um, then I'll like to have a little read of this. Yeah, it looks quite interesting. It's got things about coffee in it. And then it like, it features all the different breweries that are in this month's box. We've got four more cans left. So we've got this one, which is Siong Su Dong Pale Ale, which is the same, I think this is the same brewery as, um, this is the Amazing Brewing Company. This one is. And that is, where's the alcoholic volume on there? 4.8. We've got Lazy Sunday, which is pills, which I think means like pills now, which is 4.5. Look, I just love the packaging. Super thirst quenching light lager with strong malt character and delicate herbal hop ar aromatics. Um, I probably wouldn't like that one because it says it's like hoppy. So I'm just a bit of a wimp, wimp when it comes to beer. Like, I had one Guinness once when I was like 18. I worked in a pub called The Wens, and on St. Patrick's Day, we were obviously all working. And there was like these Guinness hats that you could get, and people were wanting like clovers and stuff in the top of their Guinness or ACDC signs and stuff. And if you had like tokens from buying four Guinnesses, you could get one of these really cool hats. And I really wanted one because I was going out that night, so I bought four pints of Guinness. And literally had one sip <laughs> and that is my only time i've ever tried guinness it was so horrible so i literally just gave it to the, all the guys sitting at the bar because it was just gross but they enjoyed it <gasps> this one's really cute it's got a cat on it this is the magpie brewing company and this is called daydream and look it's got a cat and then fishies and the cat i think the cat's got wings oh my god that's so cute and this says silky and smooth gauzy like a daytime riviera a single hop with a Zaka for a burst of tropical fruit flavours. Ooh, tropical one. Ooh, I'm excited. I want to try that one. And then the last one um, is the Booth Brewing. And again, this it's just really cool. What was that percentage, actually? That one was 4.5. This one was... 4.5 and this one is six so the strongest one is this one no not this one. is that one yeah 6.5 so there's a variety um this is this literally means rivers and mountains on its embroidered on silk it's traditional figurative expression referring to the beautiful korean landscape and this is black currant milkshake ipa what combining the rich creamy mouthfeel of a milkshake IPA with the natural tartness of blackcurrant. The next cat fruit character in the New World Hopped is accentuated. That sounds really cool. I used to drink cider and blackcurrant a lot. I and mean, then when I had the Guinness, I actually put um, blackcurrant in that to see if it would taste better. And it just... No. It just doesn't. It's just horrid. But that was the box. I think that's really cool. So, yeah. I'm sorry this was a bit of a weird one. I'm slowly getting back into things after having... The bug of all bugs that wiped me out for the best part of January to be fair. I'm still all cold sorry and just very blur but I'm getting back into it. So let me know what kind of video you want to see next. I am kind of planning a favourites but to be fair I haven't really done a lot this month in regards to using favourites or actually doing anything so we will see if that one happens or not. Um, there is a vlog in the works and I think I've got something coming in the post tomorrow. So yeah, 
I will leave the code down below. If you guys want to use it, feel free. I'll also use a, leave a link so you don't have to use my code. Um, but that is entirely up to you. If you like these kind of videos, please do give this one a big thumbs up. It is awesome when I see the thumbs up and it makes me smile in my face. So, yeah, bonk the subscribe button. Hit the bell if you're feeling fancy pants. Let's get on it. Let's say goodbye to horrible January and it's sick and just move on to February, which is going to be awesome. I know it. So, yeah. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.